Hey everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. Really welcome back to my kitchen. I'm sitting here in the kitchen getting away from the wind. We have, it is sunny, it is bright outside, the rain has stopped. We've had rain for about five days. The rain has stopped, but now the wind has started. And so I'm just, you know how it is when you work in the wind and it's like, okay, I can handle this for a little bit. And then you start getting really tired of it. And then you, uh, I just, I just, I was like, okay, I have to come inside. I just can't be outside anymore. So uh, this video is gonna be pretty short. It's kind of just gonna be a little recap video uh, because I'm not gonna get done what I meant to get done today. I had a plan to redo my uh, kitchen garden wattle fence. That was my plan to get it done today. Um, you know, but best laid plans or whatever that saying is, uh, it's just not gonna, <laughs> it's just not gonna happen today. And I'm so far behind with my filming schedule because we've had so much rain the past week. Um, you know, and it's great. It's wonderful that we've had a lot of rain. I think it's fantastic. We also have another rainstorm coming through next week. So it's just pretty funny as, as a Californian that's mainly been gardening in a drought, I just do not plan for rain. I never plan for rain. It never enters my mind to think like, I might not be able to do that that day because it might be raining. It, it just literally doesn't go through my mind. So when I do have rain days or we have like a couple days straight of rain, I am, um, you know, just, I'm all messed up. <laughs> it's like, what? I can't garden today? And one of you was saying on the comments, you live up in Oregon and you garden in the rain. And it's like, okay, well, maybe I'll have to do something like that this year. Again, I think it's wonderful that we're getting so much rain here in California. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I just did not plan for it. <laughs> so anyway, so I started filming a video on the wattle fence outside and as I was out there in the wind and um, I, I want it, I put in that wattle fence last February for my vegetable garden, my kitchen garden. Um, and I did it as kind of a temporary measure last year because I thought, you know, like, oh, well, I'll just do this and then maybe I'll put in something a little bit more permanent next year. But I really did fall in love with the wattle fence. I think it's romantic, I think it's beautiful and I want to keep it for longer. So I wanted to redo it this year because now I kind of, I feel like I know how to do it to make it a little bit more sturdy. Um, and so I wanted to redo it and redo it with new sticks and all that kind of stuff. And that was my plan for today. But um, so a wattle fence is a woven wood fence and there's vertical supports called sails. And then there's the weavers, which are the sticks that are woven through the sails. My sails, I have used, I used bamboo stakes last year. And I thought they were doing okay, but as I was out there just now in the wind, weaving the new sticks through the bamboo stakes, one by one, all those bamboo stakes were snapping off. And so I'm gonna have to rethink, and I think I'm gonna get some type of like rebar, steel something that'll be a little bit stronger to be in and still have the look of a wattle fence, but maybe be able to support it a little bit more. And now that I know that I want to keep this wattle fence for a long time, I really want to do it right. So just doing it last minute um, today, I just, I just don't think it's going to work. <laughs> so I was just out there thinking like, yeah, this is going to be a terrible video, but I just, I'm just going to be honest. It's just not going to work. <laughs> so yeah. So let me show you what I got done on the wattle fence and then I will take you in the front yard. Um, we are removing our black mulch. <laughs> so I don't know if any of you guessed that I was going to, we were going to end up doing it, but I did learn in my master gardeners class about different mulches and the right mulch to use for your garden and the not so good, I don't want to say the wrong mulch, I'm just going to say the not so good mulch to use in your garden. And the mulch that I use is one of the not so good mulches. And I have kind of noticed that like it really, it doesn't break down like regular mulch does. I use the big nugget um, stained black mulch and that's apparently one of the worst ones that you can do if you're soil health and your and your plant health but I think it looks beautiful so you have if you have it and you want to keep it don't feel bad about keeping it I've just decided that I'm going to change it out I went to my friend Robbie's house last week um, for, uh, from the the YouTube channel visit our garden I will link his video up here uh, but he has this beautiful he called it pathway mulch and I think I'm gonna get something like that because I think it's really pretty and it's healthier for the soil and um, it won't it's not black even though I love the color black obviously I have a slate fence but it's not going to keep the soil as hot during the summer which is a really big thing for us here where I live where 
where we get triple digits for a very long time during the summer. So I think overall it'll be good. We wanted to do it now before we remulched for the spring. I didn't want to spend money on mulch and put down mulch just to take it out later on this year. So we just, like, I don't have enough time to do it because I have all this planting that I'm planning on doing and we're getting ready for the Pence Gallery Garden Tour. So we actually hired somebody to start removing the mulch in the front yard. So I'll see if I can sneak around a little bit and show you guys what they're doing. They're doing a really great job. Um, but yeah, so so we had to get them all going and tell them what to do this morning and get them get them all set up um, so that took a little bit longer and then I got out here and then my sails my bamboo stakes started breaking and then there was all the wind and I was just like I can't do it I'm just gonna do a recap video so I apologize if this video is not very interesting and I don't have much to say but this is this is where I'm at right now <laughs> so let me show you outside my half done job of my wattle fence it does not look pretty but this is what it looks like right now all right, so coming out here, so just outside our kitchen, our dining room, there's the kitchen garden and the wattle fence that I have totally taken apart. And it looks terrible. <laughs> it looks so bad right now. You can see, oh gosh, it's just one of those days, I think. All right, so you can see right here, this section I redid, and I think it looks really, really nice. Um, I actually did tie the ends with a little bit of twine just to hold it into place a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so this section ended up looking great and I'm happy with it. Here are some of the new sticks that I found. I forage for these forage for these um on the street we have green waste piles here in my town and so people will like prune their trees and then they will put these sticks out on the street and so i just look for really good sticks like this and then i'm you know that weird person that has uh throwing <laughs> throwing the sticks in the back of her car but you know you gotta do what you gotta do so this is the hard part this is the part that i was having trouble with um you can see all my sails. I replaced a bunch of them, but then like they just one by one, they just started kind of bending and breaking off. And it's just because they're bamboo stakes. They're not steel. And so I thought, okay, well, I want to keep this wattle fence for years. Um, I, you know, I, I want to do it right. And so I don't want to kind of just half do it and just get it done for a video and then not like how it's done. So if you all are going to do a wattle fence like this, if you're going to do it temporary, bamboo stakes I think are fine. But if you want to leave it in for a couple years, I just I think you need something a little bit stronger than bamboo stakes. I think if you could get some really straight sticks, like thick sticks, like these aren't even thick enough, maybe like this one, right? Um, and kind of hammer those into the ground, then maybe that'll last a little bit longer. But like this one broke off. This was, this was like, the straw that broke the camel's back for me. This one <laughs> broke off and I thought, okay, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get some type of steel stake from Home Depot or the garden center or something like that and put them in here. And that's what I'm gonna use while I weave the rest of the sticks. It's really not hard to do this. It's not hard to weave the sticks, but I was just having so much trouble and then it's just kind of windy and there's just a lot going on. So I'm just being honest with you all. It just, it just wasn't my day today. <laughs> so this is where I'm at. I think it looks fine. I think I just need another day to kind of work on it. You can see that piece over there. That looks beautiful. That's exactly what I want. That's the look of the wattle fence that I'm going for. Nice and neat like that. Um, it just, I, you know, that's a straight piece and this is a curved piece. So yeah, and you can buy wattle fence, like wattle fence pieces. Um, I think that some of them look really fake and I think some of them look nicer than others. So if you don't want to go through all this work, you can purchase a fence that kind of looks like that, that I think would be perfect. Um, but I have access to all these materials. I, I feel like it's silly for me to buy something like that when I have access to all the materials. I just have to go and I have to get something a little bit stronger for the sales. So anyway, this is my half done project. Doesn't it look beautiful? Yes. All right, let me take you in the front yard and I will show you all what they're doing in the front yard, removing the mulch. It actually looks really good. I'm excited about it. 
All right, here it is. I think it's looking so good. So they are working over here. I don't want to get them on camera, um, but you can see all the black mulch is gone. Oh, I'm actually really excited. Here, let me come over here where it's shade. I can actually see my drip irrigation. So I will be able to come in here and I will be able to adjust my drip irrigation while everything is kind of out like this. Doesn't this look so different? Ugh, hopefully you guys can't hear that wind. It is just, ugh. Okay, let me come over here. And then you can see that's done. And then around the redbud tree is done too. Doesn't this look good? They've been working all day long. There's two of them, um, a husband and wife team, and they've been working all day long since the morning. Um, so, I mean, it would have taken Jason and I absolutely forever. So yeah, they don't have the cottage garden bed done yet. And they're working on the crepe myrtle bed right now. Oh, they have the area done. Oh, that looks so good. All right, doesn't that look good? Oh, it's so exciting. It is so, so exciting. Um, so yeah, so I had plant, you know, I knew I was gonna have to replace some of my mulch uh, you know, for the new season and everything like that and get fresh mulch, but I didn't want to spend money on mulch that I knew I was going to end up removing in the future anyway. Once Jason and I decided that we were going to take out the big black nugget mulch. Let me see if I can find a piece to show you guys. Um, once we decided that we were going to take out that mulch, it was like, I don't, I just didn't want to waste money, uh, re, you know, adding more in that we weren't even going to use. Here it is. This is this is what the mulch looks like. It comes in those bags. It's like the stained black mulch. So, you know, obviously stained mulch is not great for your garden. And then it's such big chunks that it really doesn't break down enough. I don't want it to break down like super fast. My parents ended up buying that micro bark mulch um, and it the wind picked it up and blew it everywhere. So I don't want things, I don't want it that fine. I, I just have to find, I just have to find the right thing, right? Like the right fit. Um, was that like the three little bears, right? <laughs> just trying to find the right thing. Um, and I'm sure that, I'm sure that that's out there. Again, I'm probably gonna go with what Robbie has um, because his was absolutely beautiful. So, uh, so I didn't want to spend money buying more mulch for the season that I was just going to end up taking it out anyway. So I'm glad that we were able to hire, hire them to come out and help us. They are actually my neighbor across the street. They're actually their like gardener that comes every week to help her with her garden. And so she like told me how great they were and everything like that. So we asked them if they could help us with this project and they said, yes, of course. I don't know why they're working today because it's so unpleasant, but it was their choice. <laughs> so I appreciate them being here. Um, so yeah, so I am going to go do a little bit more research and to see what options I have. Sorry about the wind. <laughs> to see what options I have for the vertical sales for my wattle garden to find something that's a little bit more, um, like robust and gonna last and uh and be able to last me for years with this wattle fence because i really do love it i think it's absolutely beautiful i think it's such a good addition to my kitchen garden um and to my backyard garden um i, I really love it so i want to do it right so please excuse the delayed video on the wattle fence wattle fence i will get to it hopefully <laughs> tomorrow I don't know the way things have been going lately um yeah so I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you all have a chance to get in your garden today